Hey guys, what is up? Diamond Brooks Productions here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Bitar Boost Pack. I don't know how much this cost at retail, sorry. And if you don't know what booster packs are, they're basically used to upgrade spinners, and you also get an extra minifigure, some extra cards, and extra weapons. Now, I am missing three cards, so I only have two, so I might as well just cover them now. So, there's Bitar's card that I drew on when I was little. Um, and then we have Earthbound. And I always felt kind of bad for Kai in that um, picture. So yeah, now let's take a look at the minifigure. Here is Baita, and compared to the size of a regular minifigure, he's pretty short. So yeah, now he does have a regular minifigure body. He has short legs and a unique molded head. All this is one piece, and it's a really interesting mold. It's got lots of spikes, um, and one of his eye is one of his eyes are messed up a bit. It's really interesting. Um, I'll just see. So you can see the torso there, and then some back torso printing, and just so you can see how it looks with this gigantic piece on. This looks really nice. Um, so yeah, now his weapons include this golden snake, which is the exact same one Fang Sway used. Then we have this little blade here, and it has you can, it can clip onto stuff. So yeah, and then the last weapon, which is probably my favorite, is this like axe or something. It's kind of crazy looking. Now can this focus? There we go. I think these purple pieces here, they're actually kind of rare nowadays, so it's nice to see some of them. Now, before we cover the actual spinner accessories, I just want to show how it looks um, while someone is using the weapons. Now, Baitar doesn't really work well because he's pretty short, and because of his head mold, he's really hard to spin. So, I'm just going to use um, um, this guy here. So here's the snake. That oh, didn't. That was kind of weak. That's okay. It's kind of hard to spin using the snake weapon, if I'm being honest. Then there's this blade. Oh, okay. That was a bit too hard. Maybe like this. Yeah, kind of. I always spam them by the head. And then for the final weapon, um, I'm going to spin it like this now. Okay, that was kind of weak. Yeah, yeah it's kind of hard to spin with these weapons. But anyway, so Snapper and his spinner is going to be my little guinea pig. So you get these two wall blocks here, and you can attach them onto the sides. To get some defense and how this looks <laughs> yeah it actually kind of looks a bit more like cold spinjitsu and then you get um, three of these chains at the bottom it's just a blue technic pin and then a chain in black attached to it you attach these at the bottom and also they include this here so you can make it a little bit higher so then the bumper can actually um, work well. And now, yeah, that's basically an upgraded spinner. So yeah, if you put a figure there, um, oh, they'll get knocked out. Let's try that just one more time. <laughs> okay, um, that was a bit weak. But um, yeah, so really the main thing in the set is basically just bite in these accessories and yeah it's really hard to spin him like but yeah so that's basically how it looks while um he's spinning so yeah that's basically the set so i hope you guys enjoyed this review and by the way um i did post reviews of the snapper spinner and the slitherer spinner and I think no one watched them, so um, YouTube might not be notifying my subscribers, so just check on my channel, 
um, to see if there are any new videos. Or just make sure that notifications are definitely turned on. So you never miss a video. And well, that's basically it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you later. Goodbye.